We got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn good show. Let's get her done. <laughs> All right. Well, folks, it has started raining since the last clip I had you up on. You can see. But I'm not going to let that deter me. I'm back to a different location here now. I'm going to check this area out. I know there's a big old dump site over that way that I haven't dug around in yet. But I did find it and it looks kind of more modern-ish, but you never know. There could be stuff at the bottom of it. Either way, I'm going to check around this area, see what turns up. See you back up in a minute. Well, I'm here at this dump site here now, folks. And like I said, I didn't want to write it off too quick without having a quick look through it. There's a nice old motor oil tin. That's in pretty good condition. But check this out. That's got to be from the 40s probably, and there's a bit of a label on it. That's kind of neat. Held up pretty good down here amongst these cans. All right, I'll keep picking around here. Well, I just did a quick Google search on these folks, and it looks like they're from uh, the 30s or 40s. And if they're in good condition, they go for pretty good money. Like, I'm talking hundreds of bucks, which is surprising to me, but check this here out. I'll just come out. Kid's slingshot. I might hang on to that. The last band's broke, but let's see what else might be right here. This stuff looks like it's, it might be a little too modern, but it's mixed up there pretty good, actually. Older stuff and newer stuff. Look at this. We got a few sodas coming out, folks. We got these. We got two old Nesbits. Not really worth keeping. Labels all messed up on them. This hires root beer can. That would have been nice if it was in a little better condition. I might keep it anyways and try to clean it up. See how well I can get it. Hit it with a rake right there. That's an oldie. And then this just come out. Check that out. Double dot Pepsi. But it's broke. That would have been a daymaker right there. So I don't know, what do you think, folks? Is it worth digging around in 40s and 50s stuff or what? Let me know down in the comments there if you think it's worth it. Sometimes you find some cool stuff. This would have been good had it been whole. Definitely would have been a daymaker. Shard, do another Pepsi. This Nesbit's just come out. It's in a little better condition than those other two. And they have that marking on the base. You see that? Like a cross. That one might be worth keeping. Let me do a little scratch in here while I got you up. Oh, check it out. Is it a double dot? No, it's a single dot. Still, that label's awesome. Oh, good find. Good find, just the same. That's an oldie. That's from the 50s, I believe. Double Dot's going to put it in the 40s. I think that's how that works. Correct me if I'm wrong, folks. Let's see if there's anything else right here. Well, that's a miner's liniment. Screw top variant, though. All right, there's soda bottles popping out all over the place here. Oh, look, there's a Henry K. Wample, edge embossed, just a clear one though, blue one would have been nice. This looks like another Nesbitt's here, let's pull that out, yep, now that one hasn't got that cross on the base of it. Soda bottles coming out all over the place here, old ones too, there's something here, Listerine. Here's an interesting relic. Fancy shelf bracket. That just come out. 
Ah, uh, broke right here. Otherwise, that would have been nice. Another Henry K. Wample. I'm getting down in there now. Look at that. Tooth off. So I'm sure the piece of farm equipment cultivator or something. Broken uh, electric fence insulator. Uh, there's a broken can out of dry. And another miner's liniment. Well, I just scratched up another bottle. Soda bottle. First time I've dug one of these. I don't even know. Oh, I've probably seen them before. Frosty root beer. That sucker is heavy, too. In Lincoln, Maine. Boy, there's lots of embossing on, or uh, ACL on that one. Yeah, cool. Well, yeah, so once again, folks, I know, I think I'm. I probably included it in this video, that clip, but uh, let me know if you think it's worth digging around in 50s dumps. They've definitely got some cool stuff in them. Always get some late throwaways, too. There's a great big piece of stoneware crock I dug up down there, too. I didn't show that. All right, we got more sodas, it looks like, right here. Let's pull these out. That's a Pepsi, too, as well. Oh, another awesome it's a single dot but the label is in perfect condition how awesome is that here's another bottle here it's a nesbits yeah with the that base on it like that that one's in good condition as well and this box just come out folks Sounds like something's in it. I haven't opened it, so let's do that. Cool. Quiet quality of quartz. Okay, so that was a watch case. Huh. Neato. Let's keep digging. Actually, some interesting stuff coming out of here. Here's another bottle. Boss up around the shoulder there. I can't absorb being junior, I think, is what that is. Got another find here, folks. You see it right there? Scratch that one out. Awesome, awesome little perfume. It's a crown. And it's got the lid on it. Nice brass lid on it. Beauty. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm going to put that right in my pocket. Definitely don't want to lose that one. Get a couple pictures here. Hang tight, folks. There's a Timex watch just come out. Clean the back of it off. This is a stainless steel back. Dust proof, waterproof, and shock resistant. <laughs> I might take that and see if I can get the back off it. Maybe put a date on it. It's held up pretty good, so I don't know what it's made of, but... A nice shiny gold color. I don't think it's gold, but hey, you never know. 
All right, well, I'm kind of liking this place, actually. Stuff isn't real, real old, but there's some weird-looking stuff coming out here. <laughs> stuff you're not used to dig, digging. Check this thing here out. What do you think is in that? I don't know if I dare smell that. Here we go. Perfume, definitely. Friggin' full. Smells pretty good. Sweet smell to it. I don't know, I can't get the cap back on it. There we go. There's a worm. It's having a hard time. Yeah, it's a hard old life being a worm. Can you imagine? <laughs> Crawling around. <laughs> okay, folks, I just scratched out some more jewelry here. Oh, no, she's coming apart. I thought that might be gold, but it isn't. Flaking right off. Would have been a nice little bracelet, though. I'll keep you up for a minute while I scratch in here. There's jewelry coming out, you never know. You might, you might scratch up a coin or something too, right? What's this thing here? Oh, that's nothing. Oh, that's a mason jar there. Safety seal. I don't think I'll keep that find lots of mason jars like that. It's not real old. I want the ones with color to them, like the blue ones. There's a broken seagull. Little ornament. That would have been a nice little ornament. Maybe I can find his other wing. Okay, here's another fancy perfume that just came out. Beauty. With the lid. And I don't know if there's liquid in that one or not. It's real heavy. It feels like there should be liquid in it. It's heavy as it is. I'm just going to set that there. And since I got you up, I'm going to see if anything else comes out right where that did. Some sort of little case. I don't think there's anything in it. Perfume come out right from in there. There's another little case. Bank of Montreal. Nothing in it. All kinds of cases here. Plastic. I don't know how old they'd be. Yeah, there's a rule of thumb. When you see plastic, you run. <laughs> but, uh... There's some cool finds coming out here, so I'm going to stay. What do I want to say? That lettering's wiping right off it. Scotia Bank or something. I'm getting into some vintage uh, toothbrushes here. i got a pile of them here now. I'll, sh I'll show you them all there in a bit. <laughs> yeah, vintage toothbrushes. Good for cleaning out bottles. 